Hi guys, Annyeong. I'm Sarah and welcome to Soul Food Kitchen. So in the previous video, I went to Isak Toast and I tried some of their most popular toasted sandwiches. Now Isak Toast has a really distinctive sauce, so I wanted to recreate something similar so you can follow this recipe and make Korean street toast in your own kitchen. The main ingredients that you need to make one toasted sandwich are two slices of sandwich bread, a slice of cheese, a slice of sandwich ham, a few pickles. I'm using these long slice sandwich pickles, but if you're using the round ones like they do at McDonald's, use four. One egg, two tablespoons of sweet corn, and cabbage. We're going to need a handful of shredded cabbage. In Korea, we eat a lot of cabbage. We make kimchi with it, we steam it to have with rice, we use it as a sandwich filling. It has both a sweet and sharp taste. Now, in the summer months, cabbage can taste bitter, so if you live in a warm climate, or if the idea of eating fresh cabbage doesn't appeal to you, you can leave it out or substitute it with iceberg lettuce. I tried a few different methods to recreate the Isak Toast sauce and I think this one comes pretty close. Add a little bit of vegetable oil to the pan and we're going to heat the oil. Add half a tablespoon of garlic and stir fry until it becomes transparent. Make sure the heat isn't too strong because you don't want to burn the garlic. We want to fry it just until it's transparent. Mmm, smells good. So once the garlic becomes transparent, we're going to remove it from the heat. I'm adding the garlic to a bowl, to a sauce bowl. And to the garlic, I'm going to add around one tablespoon of mayonnaise, followed by one tablespoon of sugar. And give everything a good mix. Now we're going to make the omelette, so I'm going to crack the egg in a bowl, add just a pinch of salt and the sweet corn. And then just whisk it until everything's combined nicely. Add a little bit of butter to the pan and wait until it's melted. Now I'm going to add the egg mixture and cook this into an omelette. Don't worry about getting it the same size as the sandwich because you can cut the corners off later. Now this egg mix is a little bit heavy because it has the corn in it so you want to make sure that the bottom is fully cooked before you flip this. If you ruin it, you may have to end up making scrambled eggs. That's what I do whenever I stuff up an omelette, it becomes scrambled eggs. Okay, I think it's ready to be flipped. I always feel so nervous when I flip my eggs. Ah, got it. So just cook that for another minute or so until the bottom is cooked and leave the egg aside to cool. Reheat the pan and I'm going to add two slices of sandwich bread to the pan. A few dabs of butter on the top surface. You don't need to put butter on the bottom surface because the pan already has butter in it from the eggs. When the butter begins to melt, turn the bread over. Yeah, and just cook it for another minute or so until the bread's golden. It smells really good. I think butter just makes everything smell better. So everything's ready. All we have to do is build the sandwich. We have the omelette, the pickles, the toasted bread, the garlic sauce, the cabbage, the ham and cheese. I'm going to spread the garlic sauce, but I'm only going to spread it on one slice of the bread. If you spread it on both sides, the smell of the garlic will be too strong and the sandwich will get really soggy as well. So you want to make sure that you spread it on just one side. Now I'm going to place the omelette on top, then the ham, the pickles, followed by a slice of cheese. Squeeze some ketchup on top and sprinkle around a teaspoon of sugar, nice and evenly. Finish by adding the shredded cabbage or if you like, as I said, you can substitute it with lettuce. Place the other slice of bread on top and cut 
this in half. And there we have it, Korean street toast. It looks pretty similar to Izak toast, doesn't it? And now I'm gonna try the sandwich. This is really good. It has like the perfect balance of sweet and salty taste. And I think the fresh cabbage actually balances out the heavier tastes of the ham and the mayonnaise and the butter. So that's it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, you know the drill. So give me a thumbs up, subscribe and leave me a comment. I hope to see you again next time. Bye.